hey hey guys back to my channel um today we're going to dive into the hidden secrets behind the relationships of brad um, and jessica and some other involved parties so we know that Brad and Jessica got engaged September 2021 um, after announcing their relationship to the world. And that was in March 2020. Shortly, shortly, I can't even talk. After revealing their plans to get married, we saw that Brad shared that um, tattoo of the ceremony um, that she planned on her back. So we want to get into some interesting facts here about the relationship between these two and some other involved parties as i did my research um because i you know i do research i don't be lying i mean especially when i can find stuff online well i shouldn't say especially but i'm not gonna be lying on people period but in this particular case my um in my mind, I was, you know, going to do research thinking it was going to lead me to something else, but I ended up um, having to replan it because my research was very different than what I thought. Um, so originally when I saw this goofy, this goofy woman up here, um, this other one in the corner, I thought, okay, maybe, she, you know, there was some legitimacy to what she was saying on her, you know, her Instagram post, right? Because when we start to hear stuff, sometimes we kind of take it in and we, you know, form opinions about people, even if we never met them. So I was thinking that these two, you know, had some stuff maybe that, you know, we needed to find out about. So as I done my research, obviously, you know, I was able to bring up the information on, um, you know, James and his mom, where his mom was very irritated with Miss Jessica. Um, and that was due to a business arrangement in which she stated she had relocated. And then after relocating, she said that Jessica allegedly told her um, basically that her son was not funny. Um, so the mother just basically said that, Jessica promised her something that never happened. Well, we all know in business, promises happen. And it doesn't mean that the person is lying to you or intentionally trying to deceive you. Some things just don't work out. And I'm like, I'm not doing, I'm not going to research and do talk about that because that is irrelevant. Like people have to understand that in business, you have to make the best decisions. So if there, if it was a situation where Jessica had, promise james whatever maybe at the time she thought something was going to happen and then later figured out hey it's not going to work so that is not being deceitful people just don't understand business so i said i wasn't gonna do say much about that because it's really irrelevant and it does not speak to her being a bad person right so then we have this goofy over here in the corner you know where she's you know saying they stole my baby name you know so i'm like let me figure out what's going on with them so when i get to the end of my research y'all gonna be like this is why you cannot judge people based on what other people say unless you go and do your own research because when i'm gonna share with y'all y'all gonna be like what so let's just jump right in. So Shayna Solacek used to be Judy's assistant, okay? She used to be Judy's assistant, maybe her friend as well. I don't know, but I know for a fact she used to be Judy's assistant because I have the court documents to prove it, okay? So let's 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 jump right in, okay? Um so Judy had a makeup artist that she would use by the name of Walker. Walker had a four-year-old child named Andy who died in the pool that Jessica Dupart, also known as BBB, BB Judy, um, owned, right? And that case was settled confidentially between Jessica um, and Miss Walker. And that was in the United States District Court of the Eastern District of Louisiana. Um, this, this was a confidential settlement between the parties, which means Jessica did make some kind of financial settlement or contribution, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this suit was dismissed without prejudice, which means whenever parties come to an agreement, 
the case is dismissed because if they come to an agreement, there is no need for a judge and a jury to decide the case because those two individuals are going to settle. The reason why it is dismissed without prejudice, what that means if they did not agree or if Jessica did not pay out whatever settlement that they agreed to, the mother can come back and refile the lawsuit. That is what that meant. That's that's what that means. So let's go into what happened, okay? BB Judy, also known as Jessica, was getting her makeup applied. Her makeup artist was Miss Walker, who was Andy's mom right? This is the lady that's doing Judy's makeup. Okay. Keep up with me because it's going to get lengthy. Now, Shayna up here in the corner or Shania, it was Judy's assistant and friend. I don't know if she was her friend, but I know for a fact, she definitely was the, um, the assistant because I have the court documents. Okay. So Shayna, and we all know, every assistant you're assigned to do whatever your boss tell you to do go get me coffee go whatever they tell you to do that's what you're assigned to do um they stated in the past shina or shana was assigned the duty of keeping andy when she would come to the house because miss walker was applying the makeup right so this was her duty um at this particular time and what ended up happening okay guys so shina was the one responsible for keeping the child when walker would come to the home and do judy's makeup during this particular incident um that took place um judy was getting her makeup done by walker right the complaint stated that this was one of Shina's tasks, that she would keep Andy engaged whenever she came around. So at this particular time, Judy was getting her makeup done and Shayna's job was to get the baby in which she took the child, took the child to the pool area where obviously it was some other, um, you know, play activities that the child was engaging in. However, during this particular time, Shayna um, was having a dispute with a boyfriend and had received a phone call and guess what she did? She left this four-year-old child child unattended for 10 to 30 minutes as she was in a dispute with her boyfriend when she returned andy had fell in the pool and drowned rest in peace to andy guys this is serious i have the court documents to prove it so this woman that's on the internet bashing them she was responsible for watching Andy, who was the child of a makeup artist for Judy. You left a child, a four-year-old child, for 10 to 30 minutes. And usually when they say 10 to 30 minutes, 10 being the, 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 the shortest, 30 being the longest, you don't even know how long you left that baby while you went to talk to your stupid A boyfriend. And when you came back, that baby had died and drowned. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. So I don't speak on death on my channel, but I had to really research to see what was going on here. Shayna, that was your responsibility. It says in the complaint that you, so tell me how can Miss Judy watch a baby if she getting her makeup done? You are the assistant. You failed that baby and she and she drowned because of your negligence. And then you're online bashing them because you say that they took your baby's name? What kind of monster are you? And then you're on your social media, Miss Shayna, talking about you, you've been quiet, you remain quiet. We want you to stay quiet. Because while you living your best life and talking to your boyfriend on the phone, this mother has lost 
her child. So as I stated, I like to do research and come up with facts. So when I started to prepare for this um, video, I thought that I was going to find different information. So I had to kind of go back and change everything because I thought that it was going to be a little bit different, but I was not going to come on here and speak ill about somebody where I had no documents to prove it. So I am going to attach the documents here where you guys can see. Um, and also, as I stated before, this is the lady, and I'm going to upload her screenshot where she's online basically bashing them, saying that she stole, they stole her baby name. How do we know they actually stole your baby name? We know that you are a liar because you're not even take, taking responsibility for your negligence. So what ended up happening, you're, if if you and Miss Judy or, and Brett, if you guys were friends, I can see why you're not friends anymore because she had to pay a settlement based on your negligence because I'm sure you didn't have any money. On the lawsuit, it does allege that you you on the lawsuit it says shana it says kaleidoscope hair products auto insurance company which is probably which was probably judy's insurance company so all of those people was listed but you didn't have the money to pay for your negligence so how do you feel um that you know you guys are going to be able to continue in a relationship when you are responsible for that child dying and then to have such a nasty attitude about it So I have included the court documents for you guys to see. I had started to read them, but I was like, okay, that's going to make the video too long. Let me know if you want me to get back on here and go through those documents. It's an eight-page court filing lawsuit, um, and I have uploaded those. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you, all, what you guys think, and I will see you all in the next video.